we are learning about how to create a master template from our final rig. Um, now I have my character grouped up here. I've managed to uh, clean up the entire setup. I've removed all the useless drawings that I have in here and I pretty much have all the drawing substitutions that I want. Um, now I'm pretty much at the step where I would want to create a backup of my character so that it can be accessible from multiple places without necessarily going back into the scene. So what I'm going to do for uh, creating my master template is I'm going to have access to the library and I can pretty much put my template anywhere uh, that I want. Uh, as we've seen before, we can open any folder on our computer or on the server right here by right clicking and selecting open library. Now I've already opened one on mine. I have a folder on my desktop called templates and we had our systems backed up in here so I could go and create a new folder that will contain my builds. Now I have templates. As you can see there's a little lock over on the side right here so I can right click and select write to modify otherwise it will be locked and you won't be able to modify anything that is in here. Now when you have somebody else that has the rights to those folders you will get a little pop-up message that tells you that somebody else is currently uh, using that folder and currently has the rights so you have the ability to either override that which I wouldn't necessarily recommend if somebody else is working in it uh, or you could just go and ask the person to uh, free the rights by right clicking again and unchecking the right to modify option. But now I have my build right here. I'm going to select it from my node view. Select both the peg and the group and I'm going to copy and let's say we don't necessarily want uh, our files to be directly in template. I can go and create a new folder in here which would be the equivalent of going to create a new one uh, directly inside my physical um, folder inside the, uh, the desktop. So I'm going to come and rename this. Right click again. Rename folder. We'll have builds here. And now I can go and paste the files that I've copied by pressing Control V or Command V on Mac. I can rename this uh, any way that I want. It's not going to affect the contents of my uh, of my group right here. So I'm just going to name him Basil, just like that. So .tpl is for template. Now if I click here on my template, we have a little Lego block right here. Uh, if I want to have a preview of what is inside of my um, of my build right here, I can right click on that and select generate thumbnails. So sometimes it can take a little bit of time uh, if you have a very heavy character. And the preview that you see here is actually every frame that you have inside of your scene. So as we can see I still have all of my drawing substitutions showing. And you can see that I don't see my icon, so it's actually a little render preview of my character. Now if I need to go and update that template, uh, what I would usually do is come inside my master scene to, uh, to do the necessary adjustments, and then I would recreate another template while keeping the previous version. So I would keep, um, I would keep this one and rename this one uh, Basil version 2 and then template another one so that if my animators were using uh, the previous one or if something goes wrong I always have a previous version that I can use. Now um, if I want to edit that template I can right click on it and select uh, edit template right here and this will open up a new Harmony 
a stage or a new version of harmony that we have here and if I wanted to come and edit some of the stuff that I have in here I could do that as well usually I would say don't go and modify the connections that are inside your rig only the exposition of certain assets on your timeline for this one we will collapse our entire structure and we are going to keep just what is on frame one and usually what I like to do is keep uh, a longer exposure uh, on my character than 60 frames I'm gonna keep just the quarter front view but let's say I'll put it on uh, a little bit longer than that let's say 200 frames because often you want your character to be exposed throughout the entire scene and um, 100 frames isn't necessarily going to be enough so what I'm going to do next is select everything from frame 2 all the way up to the last frame and I'll press delete now remember this is strictly deleting the exposure of my drawings and not the rest so now I have my drawings over on frame 1 and then nothing after that so I'm just gonna extend the exposure all the way up to frame 200 with F5 so there we have it if I press control S for save you see that it says this template may no longer be used as an action template do you want to save I'm going to say yes I will save and we will see in the next step what action templates are about and how we can use them along with the master templates. See you in the last topic.